Good morning, Data Fam. I'm Keisha Rose. Welcome to day two of Tableau Conference Ish. And I'm Andy Cockreave. We hope you've had your coffee and are ready for a full day of great content. But in case you're in need of a boost, well, you've come to the right place. That's right, Andy. I'm really excited because we're here to introduce this Devs at Desks episode. The Tableau dev team has been working around the clock to deliver cool new features, and I can't wait to see what they're going to demo. I agree, Keisha. Uh, for those of you who are new to Tableau Conference, Devs on Stage is a tradition at TC where our very own Tableau developers get to show off the features that they've been developing for you, our community. Devs on Stage is usually presented from the keynote stage, but this year we're bringing you straight to where the magic happens, the Devs' very own desks. Now there are a lot of great demos coming, so let's get started. Sit back, relax, and don't be surprised if what you see blows your socks off. What's up, Data Fam? My name is Filippos, and I'm a product manager at Tableau's analytics team. And I have a confession. I love avocados. So here's a viz showing avocado prices for my city, Seattle, Washington. I've modeled my data using Tableau's predictive modeling functions, a feature we released earlier this year that brought robust statistical capabilities and analysis without the need for code or external services. This model predicts avocado prices based on month and cyclical yearly trends. Now the model does quite well, but I know Tableau can do better. Introducing model selection. You can now specify, among other models, a Gaussian model. Hit apply and notice the difference. But what about prices this coming winter? Well, now extending our axes, and making predictions for future values is so easy. Let's open the dates context menu and choose the new option, show future values. We can pick from a list of pre-specified time ranges or select custom and see how smooth this is. We can extend our axes by one or two quarters and Tableau automatically updated. Of course, these values can be used in downstream table calcs or exported like any other data in Tableau for further analysis. Now, when I'm not looking at avocado prices, I inspect the local housing market since my lease is up this coming April. Here's a map of Seattle broken down by zip code and colored by average monthly rent. I want to bring in more information into this view, but layering multiple location data is not possible in Tableau. Until today, introducing map layers. You can now layer as many geometries as you want in the same view. I cannot wait to show you. Let's bring in house locations to see some of the properties I'm interested in. I'll drag the pill in the view and see a brand new layer drop zone. I release my pill and boom. Tableau just created two layers, each with their own marks cards. Now let's disaggregate by address, change our mark type, change our color, our border, and our size. And you know what? Let's also rename our layer easily enough. Now adding a third layer is drag and drop easy. And as a proper Seattleite, I cannot pick a home without considering proximity to coffee. So let's bring in store ID and coffee shop locations into the view, change our mark type, color, and resize. Just like that, we build a map with three layers. The rainy Seattle sky is the limit. Now, map layers are not only easily additive but also intuitively configurable. For instance, interacting with marks across layers 
can be very distracting. But with map layers, we can disable selection with this new option. Now, the zip code layer is static, yet it continues to update as I change encodings directly from the marks card. And check this out. Currently, coffee shop locations are layered on top of house marks and hide some houses near downtown. Well, map layers can fix this too. We can now reorder our layers and bring coffee shops down. Now, watch the viz as I release. Here we go. Everything is now in place and clearly visible. But wait a minute. I want to get the most bang for my buck. So I want to compare individual home prices to zip code averages. Now, this requires level of detail expressions, also known as LODs, since we need to calculate values both at the aggregate and at the row level. Now, we know that writing LODs is not everyone's cup of coffee. It's hard to know where to start, and syntax errors break your flow of analysis. Well, no more. Early next year, Tableau writes your LODs for you, introducing easy LODs. Check this out. I'll select zip code and monthly rent, right click and choose LOD calculation. Now keep your eyes on the screen, everyone. I select and boom. Tableau just wrote an LOD from scratch. Now we can of course change our aggregation to get the average rent by zip code and subtract this from our individual monthly rent values. This way, we know exactly what houses are under or overvalued. Now let's rename our calc appropriately. Save it and drop it on the house layer color shelf. And look at that. A bunch of marks near downtown are orange, which means there are great deals I need to check out. So. Whether you're looking at real estate data to figure out your next virtual home visit, inspecting local competition, or analyzing regional demographics, our latest predictive modeling functions, map layers, and easy LODs open up a whole new world of possibilities for analytics in your organization. We cannot wait to see what you come up with. Thank you. Good morning, Data Fam. My name is Azar, and I'm a software engineer in Tableau Prep team. Today, I'm excited to show you some new Preppy features. Let's get started. Here, I have the popular hiking trails around Seattle, but it doesn't tell me what park they are located in. Luckily, I have the park boundaries as a shapefile and with the new spatial support in Tableau Prep, I can now bring it in and map the trails to the parks. With support for spatial data, you can now connect any spatial data you have and work with it, just like any other data. Looking at the spatial data here, I see that the park boundaries are in polygon and multi-polygon, while trails are lat long numbers. With spatial data coming in different forms, it's hard to find their relationship without doing a complex math. But we make it simple for you by also bringing spatial calculations to prep. You can now perform any spatial operation you want, such as buffer, make line, or make point, and prep your data. In this case, I want to map the trails to the parks. So first, I use make point to convert the trails lat long to point. Let's call it geometry. Then I use spatial 
join, pick, intersect to map the trails to the park boundaries. And there it is, 47 trail and the park they are located in. That's how simple it is, working with the spatial data in Tableau Prep. Next, I want to calculate the trail ratings and pick the most popular one. But my data needs some cleaning first. I really like to keep my workspace organized and focus my data cleaning on only the columns that need it. So I want to be able to hide the already clean columns without filtering them out from my data. Now, in Tableau Prep, you can with the new Hide Field feature. You can also hide fields from the list view or select multiple columns and hide them together. The hidden fields will show up in the profile card of their own and you can search or unhide them if you want to. Beautiful. Now I can focus my data cleaning on only these four columns without the fear of losing the hidden fields. Okay, I already finished Delta cleaning and calculated the ratings. My flow is complete, but it looks more complex. I want to simplify it before I share it with others. I want to hide some details to bring attention to the most important part of the flow. With group step, I can do exactly that. I create a group for the spatial mapping and another one for the rating calculation. Let me also change the description here. And the spatial mapping. I can still expand the group to see the details or collapse it to have a clean look. See how simple and clear my flow looks now that I have two groups in place. And that's data preparation in Tableau Prep. Simple, fast, and flexible. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ryan Atala, and I lead the Ask Data team at Tableau. We've been working on some incredible improvements culminating on what we're calling Ask Data 2.0, our biggest update since we originally launched Ask Data. I'm going to show you an early preview of the completely redesigned user interface, which combines the speed and flexibility of search with the power and intelligence of natural language processing. Here's how it works. As you type, Ask Data gives you search results word by word, giving you instant feedback about what's in your data and what Ask Data can do. Ask Data will automatically choose the best interpretation of each word in your query. Or, if you prefer, you can tell Ask Data exactly what you mean by choosing a result from the drop down menu. Ask Data learns from your selections to improve the quality of the experience and save you time as you use the feature. Here's that same query after some questions about San Jose. Note that the most popular results appear at the top of the list. This is particularly useful in cases where you have the same value appearing in multiple places in your data. Let's say that I'm interested in orders from Kelly. I can see that there are multiple Kellys in my data. I'm interested in Kelly Williams, but I see that she is both an employee and if I look at the bottom of the list, a customer. The new Ask Data UI makes it easy to see that and choose exactly the one that I want. Transparency is key to effective analytics, and the new Ask Data UI makes it easy to see exactly how your query is being interpreted. Here's how. As you type, Ask Data emphasizes the words that it understands and grays out the ones that it doesn't. And what's more, if you hover over an understood word, Ask Data highlights the corresponding analytical operation, showing you exactly the impact that it has on your result. 
So if you ask a question as data doesn't quite know how to understand, you can see exactly why and fix it. Take this example. Which industry has the most profit? Industry is grayed out, which tells me that ask data doesn't know how to interpret it in the context of my data. I can fix that easily by clicking on industry and choosing the teach ask data what industry means option and mapping it to the appropriate field or value. In this case, I want the segment field. That's the result I'm looking for. And the best part is that I only have to do this once. Now ask data has been trained to interpret industry and will answer questions about industry correctly, even if it's never seen them before. There you have it, a new sneak preview of the completely redesigned Ask Data user interface. But that is not all. We're also introducing governance tools that let you fine tune Ask Data experiences to address specific business use cases. And we're increasing accessibility so you can bring Ask Data to every user in your organization. The new Ask Data is going to be fantastic. We're making asking questions about data as easy as a Google search. With 2.0, Ask Data is easier, smarter, faster, and easier to govern at scale. I can't wait to bring it to you all. Thank you. Hey, y'all. I'm Dorian, a software engineer on the Metrics team, broadcasting to you live ish from my desk here in Austin, Texas. There are a ton of great new features in Tableau Server, and I'm excited to show you a few of them. We've really tried to focus on the onboarding experience recently because we want your users to be successful from day one. So I'd like to start with a very exciting checkbox. Yes, the grant roll-on sign-in checkbox is new. And while it's tiny, it is mighty. One click can keep your users from having to pester your server administrator. Just check the box. And when your users first sign in, be it from web, desktop, or mobile, they'll automatically get a role assigned to them. To the user, it just looks like a normal sign-in. Speaking of sign-in, perhaps this user signed in thanks to a site invite email. These emails in Tableau Online now contain machine learning powered recommendations based on the visualizations that are already popular on your site. So your newest users can get a preview of the sweet visits they'll have access to. They'll be even more tempted to dive right in. And once you've signed in, we've got some cool new concepts coming your way on Tableau Server. I don't know about you, but personally, I've had lots of great visits shared with me over time. But when I wanna go find those shared visits weeks later, I end up digging through old emails or having to ask a colleague to share that same dashboard yet again. Now, the new shared with me tab shows me the content that's, well, shared with me. Here, I can see who shared what with me and when they shared it. So it's way easier to track down the viz I need. I can even see which custom views they shared. In this case, a view called Just Texas. Speaking of custom views, we've given them their own section on the workbook page. Now authors can see what custom views exist on a workbook and can change the owner or delete each custom view. Basically, you can now see and understand your custom views. Now, we all know that Tableau is the best platform for data and analytics, but I gotta be honest with you. I still sometimes use Excel. And you know what? That's okay. Tableau's made my life easier by bringing export to Excel to the browser. Now, when you export as a crosstab, you can select an Excel format and Tableau will maintain more of your table formatting. Here, we can see the crosstab in Excel and the column headings and number formatting have been maintained, helping me live my best Excel lifestyle. I know Ellie shared collections earlier, but I'm so excited. I just have to say collections are awesome. You can create different subsets of content for different audiences without moving visits around between projects. Here, I've got a metric in my monitoring project that I wanna share with the executives and my working team. So I select it, choose add to collections and assign it to both collections. The metric doesn't move from its original project, 
but now each group can see it in their curated collection. Nice. Hey, what's this bell up here in the corner? Looks like something needs my attention in the totally redesigned notification center coming soon to a Tableau server near you. This is gonna make a big difference when it arrives, keeping all your notifications from across Tableau. I'm talking data alerts, subscriptions, sharing, commenting, all organized and actionable. Looks like Ron's left a comment that it's about time to wrap up this demo. I guess I gotta get back to work. That's it for me from Texas. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of the conference. Ish. Hello, my virtual friends. My name is Miranda Osterheld, and I'm a Tableau PM who gets really excited by features that make life for admins easier. Those features that deliver flexibility with control and security to keep my deployment safe. And one of those awesome new features is changing the way extract refresh scheduling is handled in Tableau Server and online. I have a data set here that contains all of the contents of a grocery delivery I receive. During these very interesting last few months, I've gotten super into cooking, probably as a coping mechanism, and paired it with a very anxious need for control and planning. So I use this data set to make sure I use all of my produce before it goes bad. Previously, I was only able to schedule a refresh of this extract on a schedule pre-configured by my server admin. But we've heard from many of you that you want the ability to take control of configuring that extract refresh schedule since you know best when it's time to update your data. Introducing custom schedules. This feature brings us the ability to configure an extract refresh schedule that fits my exact needs. Let me show you. I can schedule a refresh for the first and the 15th and the 21st of each month at 1235, right after I get my groceries delivered. Now I know I'm meal planning with the freshest of data that's refreshed on a schedule that has the flexibility that real life often needs. I love this bespoke way of scheduling extracts because custom schedules helps me prevent spoiled produce and stale food. And the only thing worse than stale food is stale server content. Hey, my server admins, you know it's a daunting task to keep content on the server relevant so your users don't have to sift through outdated workbooks to find the dashboards that they need. And we all know we don't want musty content taking up precious free space on our servers. With the new stale content admin view, I can identify content, workbooks, and data sources that haven't been accessed by my users over a time period threshold that I set. Let me show you. I can filter down to some stale workbooks and select some of the ones that are taking up a good amount of space on my server because those are good candidates for closer inspection. In fact, let's go ahead and tag these workbooks as stale. And then at any time, I can always filter down to the workbooks I've identified using that dashboard, inspect them, and toss them as necessary to prevent them from cluttering up my site. That covers stale content. Now let's talk about stale data. Tableau Bridge is better than ever. For those of you who may be unaware, Tableau Bridge is used to keep our on-premise data fresh in Tableau Online. It's a lightweight client that sits behind your firewall and refreshes extracts and proxies live connections. I have a data set here actually kept fresh by Tableau Bridge. I use this one in case my cathartic cooking gets a little too experimental. It contains reviews of restaurants that do delivery. Before, if I wanted to connect to this data, I had to use IP whitelisting because it's a cloud hosted data. But now I can use Tableau Bridge to connect to this cloud hosted data in a private network. And then before, if the credentials to this data source changed, I had to have access to the machine Bridge was hosted on and do all of those updates locally, but no more. Now we can do it all from the web. See, here I can update my credentials and that saves me a ton of time from having to remote into all those bridge machines. Lastly, we made it a lot easier to scale your bridge deployment. Before we had to assign extracts to specific bridge machines, but now we can load balance extracts across bridge clients. 
which allows Tableau Online to select the best possible bridge to send any request or job to. These innovations in scheduling, content management, and Tableau Bridge make life as a Tableau admin so much easier and keep my end users secure and self-service, which is about the only thing that can get me more excited than fresh produce. Thanks for your time, y'all. Enjoy Tableau Conference. Wow, Keisha, that was quite a jam-packed session. Uh, which was your favorite demo? Come on, Andy. There's no way I could pick just one. I love them all. The demos and desks were all pretty inspiring. But before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to our amazing dev team. This community is passionate and inspiring. A group where you can meet like-minded people, develop your skills, and share ideas. You can stay connected year-round through user groups, forums, Tableau Public, and our Zen and Ambassador programs. Don't hesitate to dive in and engage. Don't wait for your data to be perfect. Tableau is designed for exploration. It can help you identify issues with dirty data that you can address. Dive in try and solve a real problem. That will be the most rewarding. I don't know if you've heard about how much I like seeing survey results, but if you submit your survey, you can enter to win a fabulous TC swag pack. Visit the Beyond Tableau page of the event website for the link to the survey. There is so much coming up that it's going to blow your mind. To help you stay focused and keep you energized, we have a brand new caffeinated partner that promises to keep you motivated. I give you visual aid. Do you want to know the secret to monster data conversion? It helps to drink the company Kool-Aid. The Bev of the Devs is the all new visual aid. The energy drink that visualizers rely on to turn epic fails into epic sales in the blink of an eye. This is the beverage that gives you leverage with a jolt of caffeination to boost your illustrations. Visual Aid for your daily data soda quota. Now in an affordable, portable, recyclable receptacle. Let me just take a moment to thank all of our platinum sponsors that make this broadcast possible. Alation, Data Robot, Altrix, Databricks, and of course, our diamond sponsor, Snowflake. Let's wrap up this break with another bits and bytes from a field reporter from our Tableau community. Hi everyone, it's Annabelle from Zurich. I'm very happy to be here today and share a part of my experience with Tableau. Uh, I fell in love with the product five years ago. Um, it was for an interview, I couldn't find a job uh, in uh, Zurich at that time. And I saw a job offer searching for a data analyst. Look, that's me, <laughs> 10 years of experience, uh, uh, knowing uh, Excel or uh, wanted to learn a Tableau. So I just apply um, and yeah, they give me a data set, um, a two weeks real version and just, just start and wow. Uh, so amazing stuff that I could do with the product, uh, build map, like just by drag uh, dragging and dropping. Uh, I mean, it was a game changer for me. I got the job. And since then, I uh, never stop uh, learning. I never stop sharing my patience. And um, now I'm Tableau Certified uh, Professional. I am also, um, I have the immense honor and privilege to be a Tableau Ambassador. And I am leading Data Plus Women Zurich and LATAM America. The community means everything to me. It's my passion, it's my life. Thank you. That was Annabelle signing off from Zurich. Global fitness brand Gymshark needed to automate the collection and analysis of marketing and customer data from 131 countries and multiple touch points. Gymshark used Alteryx analytic process automation to gain a holistic view of their customers and a 37x process improvement. Get more analytics inspiration at alteryx.com customers.